possibly made by Leonardo da Vinci, are discovered in the Greco's family recipe in Milan, Italy. Conversations about the drawing's origins and connections with Leonardo are heating up among scholars around the world. When Leonardo first received this commission of the Last Supper in Stanza Maria della Grazia, he began making a lot of preparation drawings for the mural. Among them, as we know, he mainly focused on making um, drawings of the facial expression and bodily movements of the figures in the painting. However, as what these newly found drawings tell us, uh, he was perhaps also making small sketches of the details in the painting, such as the dish uh, on the table. According to scholars, there are drawings of cooked eels, snails, and a dish that resembles lamp in the common Renaissance Last Supper paintings. Scholar Maisie Law from the Royal Collection Trust is leading the research project and is looking into the history associated with these drawings, how they match with Leonardo's drawing style, as well as the food culture in Italy at the time in relation to the subject matters. During my trip to Milan for a meeting with the connoisseur of La Bera Principessa in 2010, one of my colleagues told me um, about the possibilities of finding drawings by Leonardo da Vinci in the house of the descendants of Leonardo's chef at the time. And I was very excited and uh, finally got in contact with Gesomino Greco, who is the descendant of Lucia Greco, who cooked for Leonardo um, in Corte del Arengo, where Leonardo lived in Milan at the time. Uh, Gesomino now is um, a chef in Armani Restaurante, a Michelin star restaurant in Milan, so she knows a lot about uh, food culture in Italy. Um, which will be extremely helpful for our understanding of the drawings um, as we know more of it. Uh, so we plan a visit uh, to see these drawings uh, as part of her family recipe in her house. Jessamino, how are you? Welcome, it's so good to see you. So good to see you. Come in, have a seat. So I brought the three drawings back and uh, we took a look at it in the lab and found out that on the back of the eel drawing it's actually a recipe written in possibly Leonardo's flipped handwriting style. And I was wondering, since you're a chef and this is your expertise, um, or like in, in your family tradition even, I wonder if you can tell me a little bit about eel. Um, yes, eel anguilla was a popular food in Italy a long time ago. We have anguilla lebanese, which is half-baked eel with pieces of chai, capers, and olives. We also mm -hmm. marinate the eel, and if you clean the eel well, you can put half-baked pieces with vinegar, sage, and garlic to marinate. This was perhaps most popular during the Renaissance because it lasts long. Besides the left hand writing that is supposedly written by Leonardo da Vinci, how do we know that the drawings are also done by him? We're going to take a look at the eel drawing first. Uh, from the red tone, we know that the drawings are made with red chalk, which is one of Leonardo's favorite medium because he believed that red chalk can be very versatile in making a different kinds of lines can be both sharp and soft. We can see here that Leonardo didn't really create any sharp lines. Um, instead, he uh, moved the red charcoal powder around to form different tones. We know that these drawings are rougher compared to his more delicate drawings. However, in his career, he actually did several sketches that are um, less in detail, such as letter and the swan as well as flower rushes. rushes. Moreover, uh, we can see the acuity perspective that Leonardo was working on in his sketchbook present, especially in the snail drawing. Um, 
The main concept of it is that the subject closer to you is the most clear and they slowly fade away and become blurry. So we know that for this drawing, this this part is the closest to us because it's the most clear and the, the snail shells around become less um, sharp and obvious um, as they go around and back in this um, circular dish. So one of the drawings seems like that it's a dish of snails. Um, I was surprised. I had no idea that uh, there are snails in Italian cuisine. Ah, monochilis. Um, we cook it often with lots of butter and parsley mm. um, and oil too. Um, it's actually quite popular, sometimes in tomato sauce. Um, we often eat it with wine though. When Leonardo was 20 years old, he worked at a restaurant called Le Tre Lumace, which is translated into English is The Three Snails. And he probably served snails made with butter and parsley every day when he was working. Um, so he's probably also very familiar with the, the form of the snails. Knowing Leonardo's love for spirals, it is not surprising to see him draw snails. However, since three drawings appear together, Dr. Luo wonders why the eel dish ended up being in the Last Supper. Bread and wine are common diets in monastery life and they had sacramental significance in paintings of biblical story. However, the eel dish seems to be out of context because eel is always associated more with luxurious courtly banquets than monastery supper in the refectory. Although fish is a significant part of diet all year round in Milan, it is not what the monks would eat daily. The exact recipe is found in Gentili Samini's story about the dukes and priests' overindulgence of eels. Perhaps Leonardo was also trying to show his anti clerical position by painting the eel. Now, one of the reasons why Leonardo might have used eel is perhaps to please Ludovic Sforza, who is the commissioner of the Last Supper, and whose favorite dish, one of them, is grilled eels. Ludovico helped him tremendously in becoming successful as a Renaissance court artist who can wear elegant clothing and live in the very heart of Milan with servants. Dr. Lee Coniford, a renowned connoisseur from the Royal Collection Trust, is examining the stains on the drawing and further tells us the relationship between Ludovico Sforza and Leonardo da Vinci. The oil stain is very exciting. It seems to have some fat from the fish and olive oil from the results of our testing machine. It might be an oily food that was dropped on the paper. The stain is very old and it is impossible to remove anymore, as we know that oil stains should be treated within two weeks. That the blue stains across the pages are possibly from wine because it has tannin in it. It seems to have come from around 300 or 400 years ago, according to the data. It seems to make sense that this is a wine stain because uh, during the Renaissance Italy, people thought that a meal would not be complete without wine. Why this is so light, I think it might also be that the wine that is spilled on the paper is kind of diluted since we know that from Leonardo's diary as well as Platina's book that the diluted wine is actually the best for health. Since we know that Leonardo was hired by Ludovico as a court artist as well as event manager in Castero Sforzesco, it's very possible that the two ate together while Leonardo was showing the sketches to Ludovico and Ludovico accidentally dropped eel or spilled wine on them. Indeed, these three drawings are perhaps Leonardo's preparation sketches for the dish in the Last Supper. They tell us his working progress, help us confirm his drawing styles, and most importantly, allow us to know his close relationship with Ludovico Sforza at the time. Italia gli spaghetti al dente e un partigiano con